You're watching News Under Hour on Plus TV Africa. Now, the candidates contesting on October 10 for Ondo governorship election have signed a peace accord. The peace accord signing ceremony held on Tuesday in the state capital, Akure, in the presence of National Peace Committee members. While several factors have been attributed as largely responsible for the peaceful conduct of the adult state governorship election, including the peace signing accord, it is only expedient that such gesture should be extended to a no state governorship poll. The candidates courting across different political parties include Roti Miyakere Dulu of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ejitai Ojegede of the People's Democratic Party PDP, and Agbola Ajayi, who is contesting on the platform of Zenith Labour Party ZLP. The peace accord signing was facilitated by the National Peace Committee. And speaking for myself on this, I am absolutely, absolutely committed to a peaceful election. <clears throat> Ondo State and the Southwest is very strategic. In our previous democratic experience, where we have republics falling, that's how we started from here. And what engineer did was violence and lack of free and fair election. We all have a date with history, today and thereafter. And we'll be judged by what we do now by the generations that are yet on board. With all the eminent people who are here today, we have given a pledge. We will continue to talk to our people. But immediately, we are on Thursday, the last day for campaign, I can assure you, everybody will go back and sit in his own place, wait for Saturday to vote. And because then, billboard, posters, the vehicles are no longer relevant. And we won't be on campaign anyway. So you won't see me, I won't see you. They just to mobilize people to go and vote. So I want to thank you. I can assure you that Saturday, by the grace of the almighty God, that we trust in that the election will be free and fair. In his address, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, emphasized the importance of peaceful environment and the conduct of election. Without peace, our deployment plans, new innovations in results management, the safety of personnel, security of materials, and above all, the credibility of the elections will be severely undermined. Even worse, public health will be jeopardized as observance of safety protocols in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic will be impossible to achieve in an atmosphere of disruption, violence and disorder. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, who was represented by DIG Adile Oyibadi, explains that peace must be maintained before, during and after the election. The police is going to be professional to the core. We are going to protect lives and property before, during and after this election. The police is going to ensure the fundamental human rights of the citizenry is well protected. We are asking that the electorate should come out. We have enough personnel on ground. We have enough facilities to ensure a heat free election. A key member of the Peace Committee, the Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad Saad Abubakar, highlights the in essence despite not being constitutional. But when there's a clean, clear election, there's no need for anybody to start going for litigations and there's no need for anybody to pick up arms and shout. Let's take it as yes, whatever the outcome is, is the will of Almighty God, as long as the elections are transparent and we've all seen it and the INEC uh, chairman had assured all of us and that's why we uh, took time to be here this morning for this program. Others present at the signing are Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Hazan Kuka, former Bishop of Abuja Diocese, John Onayekon, and various traditional rulers, among others. 
at Saturday poll approaches, the candidates and their supporters are advised and encouraged to follow the path of peace in their huntresses and actions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.